Hey, yes, new video today. Hope you guys are well. Back on the YouTube today, interesting video, if I might say so myself. But ultimately, we're getting closer to summer again. People are trying to lose weight, always asking me what is the best diet. There is no such thing as the best diet. So we're back, we got everything that we needed. Like I said, we're gonna try and change it up because I can't see myself eating the same thing three times today. So I'm gonna do savory first. Yes guys, meal one, like I said, savory pancakes for brekkie. Can you see that? Oh! So we got vegan bacon, vegan protein pancakes, and then I've just put a dollop of nut butter and a bit of jam. I plugged this into my fitness pal and I'm getting 50 grams of protein for meal one for the day. I'm getting 20 odd grams from the vegan bacon and another 20 grams from the serving of protein in my protein pancakes. So this is the first meal, we'll keep it savory. You can watch me eat. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that stuff's good, bro. Mm. Some jam for you. Mm. <clears throat> As you can see, you're done. Last bite. So I'm gonna give it everything. Still got some of the almond butter, the pancakes, and then the vegan bacon. One big bite. Savage life. Okay, we're back. Second round of pancakes. Like I said, it's sweet today. We did savory number one. We got dark chocolate protein pancakes number two. This is my type of meal. I can eat this anytime, any day. Oh, I just need to show you how good this is. Okay, so this is basically it. I'm trying to give you guys a, oh, look at that. All that chocolate. It's gonna be a good one. Let's see. Mate. I could eat this all day. I love sweet things way too much. Oh, it's amazing. It has 550 calories to be exact. Like I said, the actual protein mix with the flour and stuff to make the pancakes is about 350 calories. And then the dark chocolate, two little squares. Comes to 100 calories, so I took four squares to get to 200, 550 calories for a great meal. Mm. Bro, there's just chocolate in there. Yeah. Mm. No cap. I could do this every day. Done. Second meal of the day. We got one more meal of pancakes. Really not sure what I'm gonna do. But I might change the flavors. I'll probably do chocolate as the final flavor for the day. Okay, so it looks like the final little pancake run actually came out perfectly. I used, so I didn't use the pan. I just used a waffle maker. And I must say, it came out pretty good. That is what we are working with. That looks great. So we just got the chocolate flavored Gold's Gym Nutrition Vegan Protein. Obviously the same 40 grams of flour, half a t teaspoon of baking powder, and then I've added a nut butter, just one serving of nut butter, one banana, and then a bit of dark chocolate just on top. The third and final protein type vibe. Obviously I didn't do the pancakes, I went for waffles. So we just got dark chocolate, nut butter, banana, and the chocolate flavored vegan protein with the flour and half a table half a teaspoon of baking powder and that's ultimately what mm. 
I think this could be the best one I've had to do by far. Wow. Okay, we're almost done. That'll cap us off for the day. Been a good day of eating. And I haven't gone over my calories, so. Like, you can still eat good food and stick within your calorie range for whatever goals and whatever you want to achieve. Like, I purely did this video to kind, sh kind of show you that you don't have to eat like the same stuff every day. So many people are like obsessed with eating the healthy food because they see food as good food and bad food. And in my opinion, there is good foods and bad foods, but what determines good foods and bad foods? And I think it's all relative to your goals and what you want to achieve. An example is if you're trying to bulk, and you're trying to eat 10,000 calories a day, I think it's going to be impossible to try and eat clean 10,000 calories. And so you'd have to try and add in foods that you don't consider the healthy foods, but because you need to get calories in. But at the same time, same thing with cutting. If it means that you are gonna have a small slab of chocolate, not necessarily the biggest, that's 200 calories, but that's gonna keep you going on your eating plan for a lot longer and almost promote and create sustainability and consistency, then I definitely think that you should add that in your diet. So I think people are just so fixated about eating the healthy food that they forget that even healthy food can make you fat because you still can overeat. And so in my opinion, if it fits your macros for me is the best way. Obviously you need to know exactly the macronutrient breakdown to support your goals, but at least you can fit things in that you enjoy and still be in your calorie intake for your goals and not feel like you forced and, and, and kind of held to your will because you can't have the things you enjoy in life. If anyone watched that video and just thought, oh, the man eats pancakes, he's got a fast metabolism, he can eat whatever he wants, he will never put on weight. That's an, a lie. I'm, if I don't eat properly, I will put on weight, okay? So, the reason why I can eat pancakes and still maintain a physique is because I focus on a few things. Number one, keeping my protein high to a point where I can still keep muscle during lockdown and build muscle if I want to. So, for me, my protein sits at about 120 grams of protein a day. And the main thing, especially if you want to lose weight and tone up, is the calorie intake for the day. I think people are so obsessed with eating healthy food, but they don't realize that they can still overeat on healthy food, okay? So the point of this video was to show you that I can still eat the foods that I enjoy. I just make better decisions, use protein pancakes instead of normal pancakes, reduce sugar, and ultimately I just counted my calories and I got to the calorie intake for the day while hitting my protein intake for the day. And I enjoy that. I still have enjoyable meals, I can still achieve amazing results, but it's sustainable because I know how I can fit certain things into my diet so it doesn't feel like I'm constantly starving myself and restricting. The biggest kind of downfall to all fad diets and any kind of eating plan that isn't sustainable is the fact that you are you restricting yourself so much that eventually you just relapse. Unless you are prepping for a contest show where you need to stand on stage and be the best, I generally don't think you need to kill yourself with dieting. My advice and my approach for nutrition and achieving amazing results is rather follow a diet that's 70% on track instead of 100% on track. The 70% on track diet you can still maintain and it, you can honestly still sustain that. But a 100% diet can get to a point where you do something for a specific amount of time and then you just relapse. So that's my thing, slower, but more sustainable. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed watching me eat a lot of pancakes, let me know and I can make another series. I want to make a new series called Shredded By and a specific type of food. So today was pancakes. We'll do another one, maybe pizza. My favorite foods. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you want more. And yeah, I'm just going to be explaining and showing you guys how to stay lean kind of year round while enjoying your life and making better decisions. Stay blessed people. I'll see you in the next one. I don't know where you go, where you come